So we all have those days where we don't want to buy a new wig but want to look bomb as F. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bring an old girlfriend wig back to life. So get your notepads, babes, and get ready to watch. Look at me. Oh my goodness. So first off, I just want to say it took a lot out of me to record this for you guys. I just went ahead, busted down, disgusted and crusted, and went ahead and recorded the real true J Harp. That's right. You know, just raw, coming to you raw. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what I'm doing is um, putting a flat plait in the back of my head. I normally would be using freeze spray by got to be um hairspray but i had taken it home and so i had to borrow denisha sorry denisha but anyway so you just need a hairspray to get your edges out of the way okay so i do the bald cap method um this here is a fleshly uh, like medium tone cap I either get this one or a nude one you always want to get a cap that is lighter than your skin tone you will use makeup to correct the, the skin tone so don't worry about that it is better to have lighter than darker okay so next step we're taking our got to be styling gel the black tube um, and we're gonna apply that from the edge of our hairline back about an inch you want to make sure that you are going a little bit above your hairline, just slightly. Um, you don't want to go too far down because then you'll cut some of your forehead off. And barely, I barely have any, so I can't afford that. So anyway, you just want to make sure you're going a little bit below the hairline because you don't want glue on your hair. So this is the whole purpose of the cap. The sole purpose of the cap is not to get any um, ghost bond on your hair. Okay, so here's a tip um, to keep your cap all the way down, even on the sides. Um, because on the sides, that'll be the first place it starts lifting. Cut slits where your ears are and bring your ears out. This will keep the cap all, all the way down while it's drying. We should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The door's OPN. Now, here comes the intense part look how raggedy this wig is oh my gosh that hole got in it actually the first time i put it on but anyway here we go to the sink this wig was literally so nappy that i decided to go ahead and give it a bleach bath i actually i actually put way more bleach in it than i intended to you're really just supposed to do a cap full um but anyway whatever so um, the bleach just brings the wig pH balance back down um, and it just adds, I don't know, it takes out all the tangles. Like when I feel like one of my wigs are down to no return, I'll do this and it actually gets it really good. But you have to make sure you shampoo and condition it really, really, really well afterwards. So that's what we're doing now. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up a smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a puck ball. Open up. Tell you how for puck ball. Let your emotions walk, fall on me. Open up. okay now i'm going to start brushing out the wig now i will tell you it is going to seem never ending um the bleach does tangle up the wig a little bit it's kind of backwards it tangles the wig up a little bit but i'm telling you once you get all of these tangles out and get it combed out nice and good um it is going to be just like brand new so it's definitely worth it 
I actually got an arm cramp. That's how long this took me. So, yeah, just stay diligent. They will come out. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors open. Uh, take that high road and hop in. Uh, you open. Uh, Hit you on BBM. Uh, we should be closer than friends. Uh, if you open. Uh, engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors open. Uh, take that high road and hop in. Okay, a lot of times I'll actually sit under the dryer before I cut my cap, but I didn't have to because it took me so long to wash my wig. So um, I'm just cutting the cap. I'm cutting along where the gel was placed. Um, so you're just going to follow the hairline um, and try to get it as close to the edge as you possibly can. So this part is kind of fun. So you're gonna take a cream concealer and apply it to um, the same place the gel is really. I kind of go further back though. You really wanna apply it everywhere that the lace is going to be. Um, that way it looks like scalp all the way through. So I'm using Ruby Kisses. Um, I'm not actually sure which shade, so I'll put it in the description box. But as you can see, I'm just applying it around my hairline and pushing it further back as well. We should be close to friends uh, If you OPN uh, Engaging is on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The doors OPN uh, Take that hot road and hop in uh, First impression uh, You OPN uh, We should be close to friends uh, If you OPN uh, Engaging is on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The doors OPN my glue of choice is Ghost Bond. I've used other glues. I like Ghost Bond the best. So that's what we're using. So we're going to apply the Ghost Bond um, between the cap and our skin. This is what is going to melt the cap down. You're going to um, apply a thin layer. Let it become kind of translucent. Um, and then we're going to apply another layer on top of that. This is what makes your cap melt right here. Okay, um, so yeah, you're going to want to try to do this pretty quickly, though, because uh, after the second layer dries translucent or opaque or whatever word it is, uh, then we're going to um, put our wig on. So, yeah, watch this closely and we are almost ready to apply our girlfriend. That's what I'm calling the wigs, by the way. Open up, tear you out for puff, fall. Let your emotions walk, fall over. Open up, open up. Open you up like a puff, fall. Open up, tear you out for puff, fall. Let your emotions walk, fall over. Okay, you can kind of see that the glue is already drying, so honestly, I'm not moving quick enough. But I'm going to apply makeup to the lace part now, and this will actually help hide the grids in your lace um, and just create more of a, a melted effect. Open up. Open up. You open okay glue is clear time to apply our girlfriend now i'm about to start looking like a woman again it's all coming to light okay so what we're doing is lining up um the lace where the glue is now i waited a little bit too long so i'm gonna have to apply glue on um, where it's not sticking but for the most part 
you'll um, feel a facelift coming on because the glue gives that effect. It's just really tight right away. Um, so you're gonna try to avoid pressing um, the hair into the glue. You're gonna try to keep the hair out of the way for a really clean look um, and just use your comb to kind of press the lace into um, the sticky area. That's what we're doing here. Okay, so now that um, everything's in place, you can kind of see me um, combing down my little baby hairs. Um, this wig, again, is already uh, been plucked and customized to me because this is a wig that I am bringing back to life. So I've already plucked it. I've already bleached the knots and I've already tinted it once before. So this is strictly bringing an old, already customized wig back to life. If you want a video for plucking, bleaching, tinting, and all that good stuff, comment below and I might make that happen for you. But anywho, so as you can see, I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. I did realize that or see that this wig um, kind of came too far down on my face. I recently got in face tattoos, as you know, if you've been watching my video, and I'm kind of bummed that my wig covers them. Um, but even more so with this wig, it's been stretched out because I've had it so long. So um, I trimmed along around my ears because it just came way too far down. I don't have sideburns anymore, so I don't need all that extra hair. So you can customize it to your hairline, do what you need to do. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing in the rest of this video. So we'll check back in when I need to. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a pokeball. Open up. Tell you how for a pokeball. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open you up like a pokeball. Open up. Tell you how for a pokeball. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open up. Need to breathe, breathe. I work out. Contemplation over our situation. Open up. You open up. Hit you on BBM. We should be closer than friends. If you open up, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors open up. So I don't feel like flat ironing my wig right now, so I'm just going to apply a leave-in um, to keep the tangles down and add some moisture back into it. Uh, I actually really like this leave-in. It is by Kiss Colors. It is macadamia um, and argon oil. So, really like it. So yeah, I'm doing this, and then we're going to mold down our baby hairs with some um, mousse and sit on the dry, and then we are done. A couple things I wanted to add when you are setting your baby hairs with the setting lotion please please move quickly because if you leave it on there too long it will start to lift your lace um, you also want to use a setting lotion that is alcohol free I use Brona Brothers setting lotion honestly I'm not sure if it's alcohol free or not one that is I know for sure is Nairobi um, but I just can't get that in Kansas so I do what I can but yes move quickly tie it down get under the dryer and you should be good
eyes, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up and smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she say that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Okay, so after the dryer, your baby hair should pretty much be in place. Like, really, they shouldn't be moving at all. This is it right here, sis. So now what we're going to do is take a flat iron um, and just kind of smooth out everything. Get your edges and your hairline in the front um, really nice and smooth. So that's what I'm doing here. Just take a flat iron and flatten everything out. You're not going to have to use a hot comb um, if it's already pre-customized. Again, this wig is pretty flat because I've already worn it before, so I don't have to do that. all right so we've come to the close of the video i haven't styled my wig or anything just yet because i'm about to hit the pool but as always thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time bye